Hey guys, this video I'll be showing you guys tips about box fighting and how to get better at box fighting and all these tips will help you get better and there are multiple techniques and tricks to help you not die. So I'll be doing this video with my friend and hope you guys enjoy and learn from this. Alright, the first tip is to not double swing on someone's box because you always want to swing from a protected angle. For example, this is what happened if I double swing. I'd get pumped literally right there. I'd just be dead. So look, so when you want to pick out somebody's wall, you could go from here. For example, look, I could just go like this. Have the wall. Right. You can have the wall again. Right. Um, this is what a lot of pro players do. They go like they box themselves up and they would go from this angle and then make it on me. Then if that were to happen, they just do this. And then they go out the back or the side, wherever they want to go. Another way to... Um, Hyper protected angle when you swing at a wall. You could be like this. And then make edit on me. I just as soon as he edits that, I just do that. So that's the first tip. On to the second. Instead, when you're running up to someone's box, instead of shooting your full clip at them and then having to reload when you approach them, you could just go slowly here. And just shoot with your shock and there you go. That's the second tip. I mean, Alright, this is the third tip. So let's say you just walk it open, someone just starts shooting you, right? You box up, make a 2 by one You want to make a 2 by one because you have more space to breathe. See, he gets that wall, I have this box to leave too. Hey, right, let's say he gets in that box, he goes there. And I'll be protected. Alright. Alright, next tip is when you're rushing somebody and you get the wall just like this. When you make a window edit for a peek, don't just do it here because that's an easy shot for them. Or when you make a, a peanut butter edit, don't just go like this. Like any peek edit you make, you want to be protected. So when you do this, adjust to the left side a little bit and now you can't shoot me. Or when I do this edit, you want to go back here and then it's easier for you. Alright. Alright, let's say you're rushing someone's box here and you're not sure if you're going to get the wall. You can just place a stair and a wall at the same time. Because here, he has no cone or stair in his box. So, we're going to take advantage of that. See, I got both of them. And look, he will either go to the right side or they'll go to the left. But you always want to get that pre-piece. Because it's just an easy shot here. He's dead. Or if, if the only way he's protected is if he goes out to the back. Or if he goes to the left side. But most players will go to the right side from your perspective. From their perspective, uh, left side. So, try to piece this side. And always place the cones first. As you can see, the cones placed farther. Put a wall, and then you got it. A tip to taking somebody's wall easier and safer is you shoot it with your AR, get it low, six HP or less, or doesn't matter, and then you just shoot with your shotgun. That easy. Then you have the edit on the person. All right, another way to get into someone's box, you can just get it one HP, run up, shoot your shotgun, just like that. No one ever expects it because they just think you're trying to take their wall or something. Alright, for example, let's say someone's rushing you in your front wall and you don't have the best internet and they take your wall. As soon as they make that edit, edit the cone like this and then retreat backwards. You just keep tarping back and protect yourself. And let's say they start rushing you and they start coming over here. You get your wall, you keep going. And then you can just keep doing that. And let's say they get in your builds, uh, get in my builds. These are all mine, so I could just go up here. I could just go up here. I have a shot on him. These are all mine. He's basically full piece control. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're rushing somebody on the elevated surface and you see they don't have a stair or a cone in their box. Then you could just put your crosshair right under their box with the cone out. And box him like that. As you can see, he's stuck in the build. So what most players will do, they'll edit down. It's free piece. Another tip is, is that when you're ramp rushing somebody like this and you get the floor and cone, when you make this edit right here, most people, they'll do this, right? It's an easy shot for that person. Or they'll do this. Easy shot. Right? But what you, what you want to do, you edit like that, you go like this. And from his perspective, he does not have an angle on me right here. The angle is very like, difficult to hit. And he has to jump up, which is a free shot. And you can see, it's an easy shot. You jump, it immediately pushes you back. So if you do get hit, you get immediately pushed back. Many pros do this, including Vino, which I learned it from. So you just go like this. Easy shot. All right, to the next tip. 
Another tip is that when you're box fighting someone, you want to track them with your crosshair. So let's say I see him right here. I, I can see through the build, right? I can track them using the using the sound effects I have here. You can just like this, right? And now I know that he's in this box. He's in that box. And boom. I'm always tracking him with my crosshairs. Because if he ever makes an edit on me, I always have a shot on him. See, I'm always tracking him. Always want to track somebody in a box. Because if not, you're going to be lost and not know where they are. I'm sure everybody knows the trick is when you face someone's box just like this with the stair behind you, right? But nowadays, everybody knows how to counter that. It's like this. And he just goes behind. Now I'm pieced up. I have nothing to do. I'm just a bot, right? So instead of doing that, you have a stair right here, right? You always, you can, you can put this beforehand. You can just have a stair. Break this. In real time. All right, so let's say you just have a stair here, right? You don't use it. You attack from multiple angles. You want to get this wall 1 HP for a pickaxe, which is a pickaxe does 75 damage to a build. So, and then you want to act like you're going for this wall. You can do like the old protected tricks about how to like take walls that we talked about. And then out of nowhere, since he doesn't even realize this wall's 1 HP, he's so focused on other things. You just go around and just, just like that. You just never expect it and you just pump their face off. All right, next tip. Alright, last tip to get better at boss fighting is doing boss fight maps. As you see, there's five boss fight maps here. Doing these are good because you get a lot of reps. Like, in five minutes, you'll get ten fights. But compared to a real game, you get, like, one fight in five minutes if you get lucky. That's why I like doing creative. I say do creative, and then you could start going to real games doing these moves. But practice them, master these moves, and then once you get good at them, go to real games, fight people, you'll win all the boss fights. And yeah, just practice these, go against other people, learn other play styles, and just yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and got better at box fighting. Uh, tell me if you in the comments if you still want tips and tricks videos to how to get better. And see you on the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.